Hey guys, it is Briar Trot here and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. So today it is Christmas. I'm not sure if it's going to be Christmas when you're watching this because this will probably go up tomorrow. But I want to show you guys my haul for this year. Um, I'm just going to say really quick, this is not me bragging in any way. I'm very thankful for everything that I got and all that. I say it every year. You guys should know this, like, you know? Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna start off small. I'm only showing my briar horses that I got because I'm sure you guys do not care about anything else that I got. So yeah, let's get started. So in my stocking, there were two mini Winnie grab bags. And in that, I got this little um, guy, his name, her name is Danny, or it's a guy, I think. Um, and yeah, he's actually pretty cute. He's in pretty good condition. I might show him in my next show because my next show has like, a mini winnie only division and they're so small like it's gonna be no problem for me just to bring him and then the next horse that i was so surprised and just happy when i opened was strawberry i think yeah strawberry and this is like the surprise horse that like you want to try to get when you collect them like on the package it's the one that's like the mystery um so i was so so excited when i was like feeling around the bag before i opened it up i felt like this little plastic part and i was just like oh my gosh no way so i i actually thought it was either this guy or the two foals and i would have been very happy with either one of them because i really like the foals i think that they are super cute but i was more ecstatic with this girl um so yeah that was a really nice surprise to start off my christmas so next horse i'm not gonna go in order that i opened them because honestly i kind of forgot was um win now i was actually not really sure if this girl is chalky or not i kind of came to the conclusion that she's not but I was looking at other Huynes that were chalky. If you guys don't know, a lot of chalky Huynes have been showing up. Um, but yeah, I just kind of found her. Well, I didn't find her. My parents got her for me. And um, yeah, I don't think that it was at a tractor supply store. So I'm pretty sure that she's not. But I did a poll on Instagram and I'm not really sure what the conclusion was. But I'm like 99% sure that's not just because I'm not sure where exactly she came from but she is absolutely beautiful she does have a few minor flaws which is expected especially with regular ones so i'm not mad about it um but she's super pretty i love 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 this mold um i don't think that it's gonna show terribly well i don't think that they are showing like the best but i am still excited to show her and see how she does so the next horse we got is paint me a pepto um i am so happy to finally have this horse um I just love her so much. I've just I really want a horse on this mold and I'm so happy to finally have one. Also, um when I opened her up, I noticed that she's kind of like not matte. Like she's not I don't want to say that she's semi-gloss even or like definitely not glossy, but she like does have this little shine on her black, which I thought was actually really cool. So, yeah, you guys can really see it in the camera. But she's so pretty. I love black and white paints. As you guys know, my old horse, well, like my last horse, Paisley, she was a black and white paint. And um, she is actually a homozygous paint, which is why she has the little, like, cat track spots. And Paisley had a lot of those, too, which is why I really just wanted to get one of her. So, yeah, she's beautiful. I absolutely love this mold. And um, I'm going to get a custom of Paisley done eventually, and it's actually either going to be in this mold or the mold that Quinn is on. Um, but I'm leaning more towards this, but we will see. So this next little section is a lot of unicorns. I got s three unicorns this year, and um, I started off having zero. But um, my mom loves the unicorns that Briar releases and always asks me why I don't have them at shows. And now I have... A perfectly good amount so first off I got these two they were originally like collector clubs like early releases and then I think they were just like kind of web exclusive briars but yeah she got them for me and I am absolutely obsessed to finally have unicorns first off and then they are just absolutely beautiful I think that bride did a really nice job I love the pearly finish and the blue eyes are so nice on both of them um the only thing I don't really like is um, I know it's like fantasy and a decorator, so it doesn't really matter, but this guy does have like little dapples, and I mean like a real life foal wouldn't have dapples, but I guess it doesn't matter because it's a unicorn, so they don't really have to play by the rules with that. And then the mother is just absolutely gorgeous. I will say her dapples, I guess they aren't that fish scaly, like it's just slight, like I don't think it will affect her too much. But both really nice models, and I'm so happy to finally have unicorns. Especially, I could show a full in unicorn class and the mom, so. 
So the third unicorn, which I'm sure you guys could guess, is um, Xavier. I've been wanting this horse for so long. I love draft horses, and I think Briar did an absolutely amazing job on him. He has like actual sparkles in his mane and tail, which I am just obsessed with. Um, so yeah, Briar did an amazingly good job on him, and I'm so happy to finally have some unicorns, and I absolutely love, love, love this mold, so I'm so happy to have some more in my collection. I also like how, um, like, just comparing the two unicorns, how they're like two different colors and both like absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I cannot wait to show this guy. He does have a few minor flaws. Uh, he has this weird thing on his butt right there, um, which I'm going to try to fix, but we will see. I'll still probably end up showing him anyway, because obviously I have the room. And last but certainly not least is um, the Winter Wonderland Holiday Horse, and I wanted this horse for basically one reason and one reason only. I finally have a complete cheat Totila's conga. So basically I now have every horse that was made in the Totila's mold that was over 350. So I am so happy to say that I finally completed that goal of mine. Um, I don't know if I will ever have a true complete conga of them just because the horses that um, are like under 350 are extremely expensive and I don't see myself spending that much money on them especially because I'm really not like obsessed with those horses that are on that mold that are under 350. So yeah, but I'm so happy uh, to finally have him. So a little bit about this guy. I took off the um, tack just because I really didn't like it. And um, he does have quite a few flaws actually, but there's like nothing you can do like to like pre-pick them because they have the tack on. Uh, so he will not be shown. Um, I wouldn't know what to show him in exactly anyway because I don't know if he would be like a realistic horse because he does have like the metallic shine, which I mean, it's really cool, but like, some people can say it's like, oh no, you just show them as a plain like Palomino, warm blood, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this horse. Uh, just I love having him on my shelf because it just adds a pop of color to my Totila's conga. So it, yeah, I'm super happy about him. Uh, he was given to me by my grandma. Um, so yeah, very thankful for that. And oh my god, I just love this face. I'm obsessed with this mold, obviously. That's why I finally completed the conga. And I actually have a custom um, being done right now on this mold. So I think I will have six on the mold. Yeah, because I have five right now with me. And one being painted to get some new fancy clothes. So yeah, guys, that is it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this haul. I hope that you guys got all the horses that you wanted for Christmas. And if you didn't, don't worry. There's always next year. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe down below if you already, already aren't. Um, also make sure to turn on the notification bell so you know when I post because I don't really have a set schedule. And yeah, um, make sure to follow my Instagram at xxbriarshot and most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye!